I haven't seen one of these cars in forever. Hey, came from Virginia. And it is majorly beat up. Oh my god. Yes, it is raining out. Couldn't tell you what year it is. But I guess this was the uh, the poor man's Maserati. Probably early 80s, I think. Mid 80s. All right, trekking through the woods on a rainy day. Got the uh, remnants of the hurricane coming up through here. So I'm in Leesburg, Virginia. Battlefield of Balls Bluff, October 1861. Two things here. This is the only battle in U.S. history where a U.S. Senator was killed in action. I think it was Senator Barks or Barksdale from Oregon. Senator from Oregon. And this is also the place of the second or third smallest National Cemetery. Okay, so basically I'm standing on the uh, Confederate side. Through that opening in the field over there, just down the hill is the Potomac River, where the Union was crossing. Uh, I think it was maybe... It, this was a small battle. It consisted of 7,000 people total. Uh, but it was a crushing defeat because the Confederates knew that the Union was coming and the Union had no clue that the Confederates were sitting up on this hill dug in waiting for them. And the Union tried to retreat back across the Potomac on a shallow area of it and a lot of them were just like shooting fish in a barrel. Were shot uh, trying to cross, some drowned and the rest were taken prisoner. Huh. And the other thing I didn't know is, um, for the Union side, Lieutenant Oliver Wendell Holmes was here at this battle, future Supreme Court Justice. So I'm on the Union side right now, looking back up the hill where I just was, uh, where the Confederates uh, were all assembled and coming down that hill and pushed back. Uh, basically, this whole place was... It was a slaughter for the Union. And here is the... I guess what I said, second or third smallest national cemetery in the U.S. Let's see if the sign says anything further on it. And it's locked up, I'm not gonna go in. But this is a mix of, is it a mix? Let me find out. Okay, so it's the third smallest national cemetery for the 54 Union soldiers killed in battle. Um, second paragraph, the Confederate dead were moved to Leesburg, which I'm gonna take you to another place here shortly down on the other side of town. So, yep. Baker. Senator Baker. And I think his... Is this his, uh... marker over here? Yep. Here he is. Edward D. Baker. He was killed here in battle. No, of course it's probably this is just the the marker of where he was killed. But down that trail and everything, keep heading on down. That's the Potomac River down at the end there. I'm not going to go down there because it's too wet and too many leaves, and I don't feel like busting my ass. All right, let me go take you somewhere else. Uh, hold on, there's another trail here. We might get to since the trees 
all the leaves are fell from the trees for the upcoming winter. Might be able to get a, a look at the Potomac. Well, kind of, sort of, you can see it through the trees right there. That's the Potomac River. And this is where, all down through this way, is where the majority of the Union Army got pushed back all the way down this hill and down to the river. Uh, trying to escape back. That's Maryland, right over there. <laughs> Actually, Maryland's just no more than a couple hundred feet on the other side of the Potomac. Yeah, this was a slaughter and a half. So, here's an old earthworks fortification that the Confederates dug in in anticipation of them knowing that the Union was crossing the Potomac at this point, and they laid here in wait, uh, took shelter here and downhill from them. So they were all out of firing range from the cannons and everything that was set up here. And once when the cannons softened up the, uh, the Union lines, the Confederates rose out of this area right here and pushed them on back down the hill to the Potomac River. Yes, it's still raining out. Boy, the things I do for history. So this is new. Uh, maybe only a year or two old. And I just saw it one day on the way into work. So I figured I'd stop by here on my morning trek into work. And let's see what's going on back here. Okay, so according to the plaque, each one of these stones is a head marker. So yes, another bad thing that's gone on in history. But, you can't move forward unless you look back from where you came from or you're going to repeat it all again, aren't you? And it is extremely somber back here. And I guess the rain and everything adds to the ambiance. Oh, sorry, Rippy. That means adds to the moment of the environment that you're in. I guess I should have explained that word for you. All right, a cabin in the woods. Hmm. I don't know if you've seen that type of movie before. And I'm the only one out here. What the hell is that over there? All right, let's go check that out. Schoolhouse. Okay. Well, this all used to be the Belmont Plantation area, just east of Leesburg. And yes, that is a replica. It's not the real thing. So this, yeah, all this area was a huge plantation. And it does consist of what they have made what they call Brambleton Park, which is basically a huge golf course now. But let's get closer over here and see what this thing is. All right, this is fucking weird. Uh, mainly because I don't know what the hell this is right out in the middle of a damn park. Stone with small stones on top of it. Old creepy cabin over there. 
Arizona iced tea and uh, <laughs> and paintings. Um, yeah, I think it's time to uh, go ahead and get out of this area. Yep, yep, time to go. Okay, final stop here for the day. I'm in Brentsville, Virginia at the Brentsville Courthouse and Schoolhouse. This was the main school for basically most of Prince William County at the time. And this was the courthouse and jail. Uh, you can see from here the bars on the windows up there and over there and here were for the three cells, three jail cells. Uh, they're 10 by 10 and had three people in them at once. Supposedly this is really a haunted place too. That one show, uh, what, what was it, Ghost Hunters? Did a... Uh, thing out here but of course they didn't hear or find anything so let's walk down this way all right well according to this that schoolhouse was active all the way into the 1930s huh I had no clue and I lived here most of my uh, most of my life in this area okay so over there is the local church that was built back when this whole place was founded in 1820. And then this laid out area right here was where the tavern, the Brentsville Tavern resided, uh, built in the late 1790s and was active all the way up until about 1900. So, served as a hotel and drinking and food lodge for people. Usually, this would be the stop that people would make from D.C. on down to Richmond. They'd either stop here for overnight and then continue on again, probably south of Fredericksburg and stop again. Before heading back up to D.C because Brentsville isn't that far off of 95. Not saying 95 was the main road back then though. And here's a little quick layout of it. All right, I'm gonna start walking back to the car here. Saw this plaque out past the, you know, through the field I came in from over there, this is where the gallows used to be. Anybody of note here? Oh, and the whipping post. Huh. All right, let's walk around out here and see if we see any foundation. see anything. I thought that was some stones right there. It turns out to be an old tree stump. Okay. Alright, so that's about it. Couple days I'll go over to Charlestown and do something from the speaking of gallows, yeah, the John Brown hanging site for Halloween. I don't think I can live stream on we still can't live stream on uh cell phones anymore if you're under X number of subs, right? Oh well. Alright, later all.
Okay, there's one other thing tucked away back here. Way back in the corner. This is the uh, restoration of the house for the Haslip Farm. Uh, according to what I read, there was a farm consisting of over 500 acres that did incorporate some of the courthouse and schoolhouse grounds. And it was an active farm from 1830 to, I think it said 1878. So, this is basically it. Yes, a lot of it's been restored. what this is probably an old mock-up of a oh it's an old garden but you can grow some good uh, rebarb rhubarb in there yeah it comes with handicapped access hey There's some carving in there it looks like can't really tell what too faded but there's the original wood beams. Huh, alright. Okay, now later.